I'm going to be working on the compressed air system in the shop today. What was happening was we're getting moisture carry over into our paint gun when we're trying to uh, do some priming and we don't want that. And plus we don't really want to be running moisture through all our power tools anyway. So I'm going to add a dryer and some filtration to the system. Before we get into that I'm just going to show you what I got right now is out of the compressor get a flexible line and then basically in parallel this copper pipe here goes to 200 gallons worth of receiving capacity and then after all that there's the regulator. The regulator has a built-in like centered bronze filter and it gets some of the moisture out but it definitely does not get all of it out. I'm going to add this dryer here, it's Atlas Copco FX4 and apparently it's a little bit oversized for my compressor but I did some checking and that's going to be okay and I got this for a fraction of the original cost off eBay and it appears to be in pretty good shape. I've already built a bypass manifold for the back of it in case I don't want to use it or run the air through it and I got this idea off Atlas Copco's website and really this whole drying and filtration system layout I got off their website. I'm going to add a 1 micron pre-filter and a 0.1 micron post-filter. I actually like the Ingersoll Rand filters a little bit better than the Atlas Copco ones. They have like a dual gauge setup for pressure drop and efficiency and the main reason I got this is for the 3 quarter inch pipe thread. If I ever want to upgrade my compressor these filters can handle more. One thing I did with this manifold is I put unions on it right off the dryer that way you can remove it. And there'll be a union at either end of it as well. So you could take the dryer out and just splice a pipe in there if you wanted to eliminate it or replace it. This dryer comes with an automatic drain, as they probably all do. So I've done a little pre-work here. My plan is to run the air line through both these uh, receiving tanks in series. And basically this is going to be a wet tank here on the compressor and these two are going to be dry tanks. But I'm going to run the air through them both so any moisture will have more of a chance to condense and then drop to the bottom of the tanks. And I've already added a line on the back side of these tanks to do that. I'm also going to get rid of some more of this PVC. I don't think I'm going to use that for any more of my air lines in the future. I'm getting ready to install my first filter and you can see there's a direction of flow. And these filters, depending on what way you need it, you can position it in either direction. There's a brass float in here for draining the water. Not sure how that works yet. I think it's going to work automatically, but not 100%. And we'll take a look at the element. And there's the element. And it's the same body for my 0 0.01 micron filter. I'm not sure if I misspoke earlier. Um, just a different element inside of it. So far, we've got our rubber hose to isolate the piping from vibrations. Our 1 micron filter plumbed to the manifold on our dryer. I'll push this uh, compressor back in now. Finish the rest of the piping. Here's the finished product. My receiving tanks are full now. And the compressor is running on this. Not sure if this compressor is ever going to shut off or not, but the fan's cycling on and off. Going to our 1 micron filter, to our dryer, from our dryer, let's go into our first receiving tank, then up on the back side to our second receiving tank, out. I'm letting a glue joint dry still so I haven't uh, pressurized the rest of this. Then it goes to our 0 0.01 micron filter and then to our regulator and then that goes to the garage lines. Guess I'm going to have to wait to see if this thing uh, discharges some water at some point. See if it's actually even working. But there's a lot of heat coming off it so I think it probably is. I guess the future will tell if we get moisture in these receiving tanks also. This bottom one used to get a little bit of moisture before uh, 
I changed up the setup here. Almost seems to me like the fan's short cycling on this, but I'm no air conditioning expert. Well, that's about it for the dryer and filter installation video. Now to put it to the test of time and see how dry the air is, uh, especially next time we're painting.